Welcome to Brief Crypto. I'm back from holiday and ready to go. Today is Monday, June 12th, and today's video is for entertainment only. We're going to be taking a look at the SEC Coinbase and Binance lawsuits. Not in detail in terms of the language of the lawsuits. We're going to point you to a couple of videos that we like on the subject, and but we're going to be looking at the action uh, in various tokens that were named in the lawsuit compared to tokens that weren't named in the lawsuit in the same category and then looking at the markets overall. So let's get right into it. First, looking at the market on CryptoBubbles.com. We're looking at some of our favorite tokens for the week. It's been a tough week. It's been about a week since uh, we learned that the SEC was suing Binance, and then shortly thereafter, Coinbase. And you can see we've lost 20% in several tokens over the week. And if we look at uh, the top 100 tokens, and going to see similar, a lot of down 20%, Algorand, Alga, Algorand down 18.9, Aptos down 22.8, Sandbox down 25.3, Chili's down 28.1, Solana down 24.4, Decentraland Mana down 25.5, Polygon Matic down 23.1 for the week. The day is a bit mixed. It's showing as red on Crypto Bubbles Top 100 Tokens. But uh, there are mixed colors on the daily, and the hour has turned green. Some tokens up quite a bit. Caspa, I believe this is Caspa, is up 6.5%. Filecoin up 2.1%. Solana up 1.1% in the last hour. So a couple of videos that we like that we think summarizes pretty well the lawsuits related to Binance and Coinbase are on Elios Trades, and we're going to leave links to these in the description below. I don't believe Elios is on Rumble, so these will be YouTube links, um, but um, we will leave links down below. And we think these summarize quite nicely uh, with some humor as well, the uh, lawsuits against Coinbase and Binance. But looking at the action, Bitcoin continues in this downtrending channel that it started back in back on April 13th of 2023. And looking at the Fibonacci from this swing low, Right here back on March 10th to this swing high, April 14th. Looking at the Fibonacci, we have, we've bounced off the 0.5. We haven't even gotten down into the golden pocket. So this is still very healthy for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is looking very strong. You can see the volume hasn't increased uh, significantly. It's up a bit, but still quite low compared to how it can get, as you can see back here. And so Bitcoin is looking very strong since, uh, since uh, the announcement of the lawsuits. And uh, it's just been in this downtrending channel, which it started before the announcement, which was clear up here in June, so about June 6th, 5th or 6th. So clear up in here, that big drop right there, what looks like a big drop when you blow in on it. But looking at a bigger picture, not even that big a picture, it's only going back into mid-March. You can see that drop for Bitcoin has been relatively minor, still just following this downtrending channel. So looking at the Bitcoin box chart again, uh, summer, winter, summer, winter, summer, winter, and now we're in the pre-having for summer. You can see the fractals in yellow and orange, and we're right following nicely still within those fractals. Uh, everything is looking really good in terms of durations, the percent down from high to low compared to the past cycles. And so we don't see anything that causes us any big concern here. Obviously, uh, the lawsuits are a big concern in terms of how to invest in crypto in the USA. And it's sad to see the USA attacking technology rather than prom promoting technology, but um, that's where we're at. And, uh, but right now we still see the Bitcoin having cycle very much intact in terms of the action and the patterns. So blowing in on that, just looking at the pre having uh, four cycle, you can see we are under the two fractals, having three in orange and having two in yellow. Having four in this light blue, you can see we're under, but still riding very nicely. And we're still up, just taking the measuring tool from the low uh, after the having three peak to where we are now, we're still roughly up 66%. So another big thing that's gonna be happening this week, well, tomorrow, 8.30 a.m., we're going to get the announcement of the CPI, and it's currently estimated to be somewhere around 4.1%, which means we'll still be in a downtrend on the CPI. And then how that 
uh, translates into what the Fed will do with the Fed funds rate, whether they'll just leave it alone this month uh, is yet to be seen. And so, uh, but we'll get that tomorrow at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. And, but right now the NASDAQ is, is in a nice, nice uptrend. It's been in a nice uptrend since back in, well, even earlier, back in uh, October of 2022, it's been in a nice uptrend. So got a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. And uh, so looking very nicely, the Fibonacci golden pocket from this swing low to this swing high is clear down here at 12,217, right about at the 200 week simple moving average for the NASDAQ. Looking at the total crypto market cap since the announcement, which was even, let's see, it's, it was really in June of the, of the, um, of the lawsuit. So that's uh, this week here, we're only down 8% in the total crypto market cap, roughly just using the measuring tool, looking at these two weekly candles. And we were already in a downtrend, or not in a downtrend, but we were in a retracement looking at the Fibonacci from this swing low to this swing high, we were already in a retracement, very healthy for the market. And even with all this news, we haven't broke, broken the uptrend and we've just touched on the 0.5 Fibonacci level. We did break through the 200 week simple moving average, but we haven't even got down to the golden pocket for the total crypto market cap, which, which would bring us down around 924 billion. So this is very healthy and strong looking. Obviously, these lawsuits are having an impact, but still looking quite strong for the total crypto market cap. Total three, um, down from where it came back up into this new uh, localized high, we're down about 24.5%, 24%. Since the news for total three, so these two candles, these two weekly candles, uh, we did go down as far as almost 20%, but right now we're down 13%, roughly just using the measuring tool. So again, not um, not terrible, and we were already in a retracement from this swing low to this swing high, looking at the Fibonacci. We had already come down and we're riding right along the 0.5, you know, expecting that very likely we'd get down into the Fibonacci golden pocket between 0.618 and 0.65. But uh, had we not gotten that news, we may not have even gotten down into the golden pocket. Obviously, we came right through the golden pocket, got down even below the 0.886 level in the Fibonacci for the total three. But uh, looking at some of the uh, tokens in particular that are named in the lawsuit, so in the Binance and Coinbase SEC lawsuit, lawsuits, we have Cardano, Algorand, Cosmos, Axie Infinity, BNB, Binance, Cody, Chili's, Dash, Filecoin, Flow, Internet, Computer, Polygon, Matic, Decentraland, Mana, Near, Nexo, Sandbox, Solana, Voyager, and XR. Of course, XRP was named earlier. But, uh, you know, these aren't all, all named in both lawsuits. Take the Binance and the SEC, as well as the XRP, all these tokens have been listed in securities, as well as all these tokens over here that, according to this article on Cointelegraph.com, June 6th, these as well have been deemed securities by the SEC. So looking at some of these um, in detail and seeing how they fared compared to uh, tokens that are in the similar category, in the same category, uh, so in this case, we have a layer one, Cosmos, Cardano, Near, and Solana, all named in the Binance and Coinbase lawsuits, one or the other or both. And um, then Avalanche and Ethereum we're looking at. This is Ethereum clear up here, which you can see has been impacted much less, like Bitcoin. So since June 5th, uh, all of these tokens that were named in the lawsuit in red here you know, they're following in a similar pattern down you know, 14 to 23%. Uh, looking at the at, uh, Avalanche, which wasn't listed as a quote security in the SEC lawsuits, uh, uh, one or the other or both again with uh, Coinbase and, and Binance, uh, it's right in the same area. It's down 17.56% since that time. The blue line is when uh, we became more aware of the Coinbase uh, lawsuit that the SEC filed against them. But uh, so an Ethereum course is way up here. So not a lot of difference in these other than what you'd expect with Bitcoin and Ethereum holding, holding strong in a situation like that. Looking at gaming, we had Axie Infinity, Decentraland, Mana, and Sand 
named as quote securities, and they're all down lower than Gala and Magic, but not huge. I mean, you have 22% for Magic, uh, you know, roughly 19% for Gala, and we're down in the uh, 27, 25, 20, you know, 25 to 27% for Axie Infinity, Decentraland, Mana, and Sand. So not a huge difference, and, and definitely following the same pattern. And then we have storage. Filecoin was listed as a quote, a security again in the SEC law suit, one or the other or both. And it's actually down less than Arweave, another storage protocol. Uh, so what we're seeing from this is, is the whole, the whole uh, altcoin market is down and it, there doesn't seem to be a lot, of, a lot of attention given to whether it's named in the SEC lawsuit or not. Um, but, um, you know, it's good to definitely keep an eye and we're not looking to accumulate any of these at the moment, although it may be a good time to do that. But, uh, right now we're looking to just, uh, sit on the sidelines and watch. We already have investments in a lot of tokens that are on this list. And otherwise, you know, we talked about the alts that we're investing in numbers have changed. They're not accurate at the moment, but, but, uh, you know, we've been looking to try and accumulate in these alts. And a lot of those are in this list. But uh, right now we're sitting on the sidelines waiting to see what happens right now. Starting to see a little bit of a recovery in a lot of these tokens. But it could be uh, just a retracement to the upside before we head down lower possibly. Certainly could happen. But we could be just uh, creeping our way back up as well. Could be what's going to happen as well. But thank you for joining today's brief crypto we'll be doing them daily again through friday like these videos please subscribe hit the like button notification bell so you don't miss any and share it with others today's video is for entertainment and education purposes only we are not financial advisors you should always do your own investment research